Hey everybody, it's Tony from Appalachian Dual Sport. Real quick video on the Ultra Toe. I got this at Northern Tool. I know a lot of people, I see it on the forums, ask about ways to carry their motorcycle and I too was looking for something. I got this uh, Ford Transit van. It's a 150, so it's the lighter version, lighter duty. It's got a V6. Um, even though the V6 has got some horsepower, I didn't want to tow anything too heavy. I do have a larger trailer, all steel, wood planks. I think that one's a 14 foot trailer, like six and a half by 14. And I didn't want to bring that big thing to carry my, just my two motorcycles. I was going to do a uh, hitch hauler uh, for a two motorcycles, so I got one, but it is five feet long. So it's going to stick out to about there. And that was just, you know, when I got to thinking about it, I just had second thoughts and just said, you know what, I don't want that scraping every time I go up a incline or into a driveway or something. I don't want that dragging on the ground. And I was going to be pushing the uh, overall weight on the uh, the tongue weight and the uh, the trailer weight, so the carrier weight. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to go trailer. And I got this at Northern Tool. I saw it was on sale for six thirty nine originally six eighty nine something like that. So save fifty bucks. Uh, the frame is aluminum axles obviously steel it's not a straight through it's just got that u channel with uh axle stubs welded on each end and then a leaf spring and uh comes in boxes and it's a pain in the ass to put together instructions aren't 100 percent clear and uh although the uh the uh kit was 100 percent complete with all the nuts bolts everything you needed lighting wiring everything uh, i did use some shrink wrap uh for my soldered together connections and I mean they give you nuts and stuff but I didn't want to use wire nuts so they give you these little stake thingies here so you can put uh, you can put a wood planked so I'm probably going to just put a uh, four by eight piece of ply on top cut it in half because this trailer actually folds this half comes up although it is bolted in a couple spots so that is a pain in the ass so right here you've got a bolt right there you got a bolt and it goes underneath so to get to those bolts is a major pain in the ass. So I've read that on some forums, people are just leaving those bolts out. And then you've got a through bolt on the side here. And um, I'm going to leave those in. And uh, I'm probably going to replace those with some like quick pins at some point. Because the weight of the trailer rests on these steel beams here. So other than risking it like flipping up if it's not secured... I think that would just simply hold the weight. But, uh, you know, these are aluminum, cheap aluminum channels. Um, so, you know, it's not the most sturdy trailer. I mean, it's definitely not steel. And it's when you bolt it together, you know, it's still got, still got some flex in it. And uh, that front part of the hitch folds under. So when it's folded, it's like four by four. And it rolls on these casters here, which is kind of neat. Uh, I haven't done it yet because uh, I haven't removed those bolts. I've just been putting it together, and it's taken me about two days of pain in the ass of uh, tightening down every single one of these bolts. And then there's no way to tighten it down to ensure that it's 100% square because things were moving around on me and stuff. And it was just a it's kind of a, just pain in the ass. And so if I could buy one of these pre-assembled for 100 bucks extra, I would. Uh, some parts are pretty cheap. These tires are pretty cheesy. They say don't exceed 55 miles an hour. Yeah, right. I mean, this is just a really cheap little aluminum fender with the diamond plate cut on there. So it's very sharp, too. It can cut your finger. So I was a little worried when my little girl was out here trying to help me with it. But uh, I think once I put the 4x8 sheet on this trailer it'll be uh much more stiff obviously because it's i'm just going to through bolt it here 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 and then i'm going to add some uh, eyelets and stuff so i can do some straps and probably maybe put uh some tire stops at the end um so i'm gonna have to invest some more money into this trailer so is it worth it um i did want something super lightweight and this is lightweight it's pretty light and i think it's supposed to be able to carry 1165 pounds i think i don't think i'd put that much weight on it but um my two bikes together probably going to be about 500 pounds and i don't think i'm going to put much else on it so 
I think it's more than enough, uh, capable enough to handle my uh, my two bikes. So, and I might replace the tires. Um, just use one of those, bring both as spares, and replace them with some better tires. Um, we'll see. I'll see what I can find. But uh, otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, um, from what I've seen out there, from what you can buy at, uh, say, Lowe's, typical steel trailer with a uh, wooden planked floor and a drop mesh steel mesh drop gate uh, those run about 750 for a uh, five by eight I believe um, so you get one that's a little wider and I'm not sure what the total uh, carrying capacity of those trailers are but I bet it's close to this and uh, they're much much more heavy so again I didn't want to tow anything with my uh, my van that was too heavy and put too much stress on the engine and transmission so this is just going to be i think this is going to be the ticket so anyway i think it's worth it um the negatives are the overall little bit of cheapiness on some of the parts um and that it's not 100 percent square i don't think i mean just looking down the rails i can see a little bit of a little bit of a slant um so we'll see. I mean, you're, they don't give you any guidance on how to try to true it up and make it square. And the way that the tolerances on, are on this thing, it's not like self-jigging or what have you, where it just automatically just goes straight when you bolt it all together. So, yeah, that's kind of an issue. And some of the, like I said, some of the instructions are a little vague. So that's kind of a negative. But otherwise, um, I'm happy with it. We'll see. We'll tow uh, a few things with it and put a wood top on it and call it good so thanks for watching appalachian dual sport out